Uh, so one is Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Um, and it's kind of incredible how prescient he was about like what this what what a brave new world might be like, right? You know, you kind of see genetic sorting in this book, right, where there's like these alphas and epsilons and uh how from like the earliest time of society, like they're sorted. Like you can kind of see it in a slightly similar uh way today where well one of the problems with society is people are kind of genetically sorting a little bit, right? Like there's much less like most most marriages, right, are between people of similar kind of um intellectual level or socioeconomic status more so these days than uh in the past and you kind of see some effects of it in stratifying society uh, and kind of he, he illustrated what what that could be like in the extreme different versions of it on social media as well it's not just like marriages and so on like it's genetic sorting in terms of what dawkins called memes as ideas right, right being put into these bins of these little echo chambers and so on um, yeah, I know. So that, that's the book that's, I think, a worthwhile read for everyone. I mean, 1984 is good, of course, as well. Like, if you're talking about, you know, dystopian novels of the future. Yeah, it's a slightly different uh, view of the future, right? It's, but I kind of like identify with Brave, Brave New World, World a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, although, are... you know, speaking of uh, not a book, but my favorite kind of uh, dystopian science fiction is a movie called Brazil, which I don't know if you've heard of. I've heard of, and I know I need to watch it, but yeah, because it's in. Is, is is it in English or no? It's an, it's an English movie, yeah, and it's a sort of like dystopian movie of authoritarian incompetence, right? Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. It's like like uh, nothing really works very well, you know. The system is creaky, you know, but no one is kind of like willing to challenge it, you know. Just things kind of amble along. It kind of strikes me as like a very plausible future of like you know uh, of what authoritarianism might look like. It's not like this, you know super efficient evil dictatorship of 1984. It's yes. just kind of like this badly functioning, you know, but it's status quo, so it just goes on. Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, one funny thing that stands out to me is in, um, what is this, authoritarian, dystopian stuff, or just basic, like, you know, if you look at the movie Conta Contagion, it seems that in movies, government is almost always exceptionally competent. <laughs> Like yeah. uh, it, it's like used as a storytelling tool of like extreme competence. Like, you know, you use it whether it's good or evil, but it's competent. It's very interesting to think about where much more realistically is it's incompetence. And that incompetence isn't itself has uh, consequences that are difficult to, uh, to predict. Like bureaucracy mm -hmm. has a very boring way of being evil. <laughs> mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. just you know if you look at the uh the show hbo show chernobyl mm -hmm. it's a really good story of how bureaucracy you know uh leads to catastrophic events but not through any kind of evil in any one particular place but more just like the right. it's just the system kind the of system the, distorting it. information as it travels up the chain the people unwilling to take responsibility for things and just kind of like this laziness Mm -hmm. resulting in evil.